Picture a desolate Martian expanse, seemingly barren except for the scattered remains resembling an alien spacecraft's wreckage. What unfolds in this extraterrestrial scene is captured by a miniature helicopter soaring overhead. Enter NASA's Ingenuity, a groundbreaking helicopter marking the first ever flight on another planet. Through its lens, the red planet unveils a series of mesmerizing photos, revealing not extraterrestrial remnants, but the aftermath of its arrival aboard the Perseverance rover in February 2021. This week, NASA unveiled 10 captivating aerial color images, showcasing the parachute that facilitated the $2.5 billion rover's safe landing and the cone-shaped backshell that shielded it during the dramatic descent to the Martian surface. These images not only offer a stunning glimpse into Mars's terrain, but also hold valuable clues within the debris. Remnants essential for ensuring safe landings in future missions, as unveiled by the Space Agency. It's a captivating tale of exploration and discovery, where a helicopter's lens turns what seems alien into a mosaic of insights for the next frontier. In this video, we'll find out what this wreckage on Mars's ground is, and whether it affects future missions to the Red Planet. Stay tuned. NASA reports that the Ingenuity Mars helicopter has recently examined the parachute that assisted in landing the Perseverance rover on Mars. Additionally, it inspected a cone-shaped backshell that shielded the rover during its descent towards the Martian surface on February 18th. Al Chen, a lead for Mars 2020 Perseverance at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, commented on the images, noting the resemblance of the aero shell to science fiction flying saucers. He emphasized the significance of these images, describing them as high resolution and transparent, providing valuable engineering data to enhance future Mars landings. Chen expressed awe that these images were captured by the first helicopter to fly on another planet. Before we delve further, what exactly is the Perseverance rover? Perseverance, also known as Percy, is a Mars rover of car size crafted to explore Mars's Jezero crater within NASA's Mars 2020 mission. Manufactured by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it was launched on July 30th, 2020. Confirmation of the successful landing on Mars arrived on February 18th, 2021. As of January 5th, 2024, Perseverance has been operational on Mars for 1,022 souls, which is 1,051 Earth days, and is equivalent to two years, 10 months, and 18 days since its touchdown. Post-landing, NASA designated the landing site as Octavia E. Butler Landing. Perseverance shares a design resemblance with its predecessor, Curiosity, albeit with moderate upgrades. It has seven primary payload instruments, 19 cameras, and two microphones. Additionally, the rover transported the experimental mini-helicopter, Ingenuity, to Mars. This technology testbed achieved the historic first powered aircraft flight on another planet on April 19th, 2021. By December 22nd, 2023, Ingenuity had completed 70 flights, consistently surpassing its records for speed, distance, and altitude. Perseverance's objectives encompass identifying ancient Martian environments capable of supporting life, searching for evidence of past microbial life, collecting and storing rock and soil samples on the Martian surface, and testing oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere in preparation for future crewed missions. The Curiosity rover's triumph in August 2012 marked a high point. Still, NASA's Mars exploration program faced uncertainty in the early 2010s due to budget constraints, leading to the cancellation of a planned collaboration with the European Space Agency for a rover mission. By 2012, the program, accustomed to launching a Mars mission every two years, suddenly lacked approved missions beyond 2013. Building on the success of Curiosity and responding to decadal survey recommendations, NASA announced its intention to launch a new Mars rover mission by 2020 during the American Geophysical Union Conference in December 2012. Despite initial reservations about a sample caching capability, a NASA-convened science definition team for the Mars 2020 project 
advocated for selecting and storing compelling samples in a returnable cache in their July 2013 report. Now, what led to the wreckage on Mars? Spacecraft sent from Earth, starting in the late 20th century, have extensively probed the planet of Mars, significantly advancing our understanding of its geology and potential habitability. Navigating interplanetary journeys poses engineering challenges, contributing to a notable failure rate in Mars exploration, particularly in early attempts. Approximately 60% of Mars-bound spacecraft faced failure before completing their missions, some even before commencing observations. Despite these challenges, specific missions like the enduring Mars exploration rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, surpassed their designated operational periods. Human fascination with Mars has persisted over time. Early telescopic observations revealed surface color changes linked to seasonal vegetation, while apparent linear features sparked speculation about intelligent design. Subsequent telescopic discoveries included the identification of two moons, Phobos and Deimos, polar ice caps, and Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain in the solar system. These findings heightened my interest in studying and exploring the enigmatic red planet. Despite its rocky composition akin to Earth, Mars, formed around the same time, has only half the diameter, a significantly thinner atmosphere and a cold, desert-like surface. Now, following Ingenuity's Flight 26 in early January 2024, 10 detailed aerial color images were obtained. Teddy Tsanidos, the team lead for Ingenuity at NASA's JPL in Southern California, highlighted the unique perspectives achieved with each airborne mission. The parachute and backshell separated from the descending rover at an altitude of 1.3 miles, and the images reveal the backshell partially shattered upon impact at approximately 78 miles per hour. Despite this, the backshell's protective coating seems to have remained intact. The parachute boasting a width of 70.5 feet, the largest ever deployed on Mars, is visibly spread out and covered in dust. I bet you didn't see this coming. Notably, there are no signs of damage from the supersonic airflow during inflation. These components were previously observed from a distance by the Perseverance rover. According to Chen, the aeroshell shields the spacecraft from the intense heat and deceleration during atmospheric entry. The supersonic parachute was crucial in reducing the spacecraft's speed from approximately 1,000 to 180 miles per hour. As 180 miles per hour is still too fast for a safe landing, both the aeroshell and parachute were discarded at an altitude of about 1.3 miles, and the remainder of the descent relied on rocket engines. He also explains that the discarded aeroshell and parachute descended further, as depicted in these images, likely hitting the ground at around 80 miles per hour. Given that the aeroshell wasn't designed to withstand such ground impact speeds, its partial breakage is not unexpected. NASA emphasizes the potential of these images in enhancing the safety of future spacecraft landings, including the Mars Sample Return Lander, tasked with bringing Perseverance's Martian samples back to Earth for analysis. Ian Clark, Mars Sample Return Ascent Phase lead and former Perseverance Systems Engineer at JPL highlighted the unique contribution of Ingenuity's images, providing an alternative perspective to Perseverance's well-documented landing. He expressed the significance of the pictures of either confirming the effectiveness of existing systems or offering valuable engineering data for Mars Sample Return planning. Even if the latter doesn't occur, Clark finds pictures remarkable and inspirational. But is there any more information about Perseverance? In February of last year, Perseverance reached Mars's Jezero Crater, a formed lake bed and river delta, to search for rocks potentially harboring signs of past Martian life. In April, a historic milestone was achieved as Perseverance successfully extracted oxygen from the Martian atmosphere marking the first instance of a human-made device isolating oxygen on another planet. By September, the rover completed its inaugural sample collection, securing a tube of rock intended for return to Earth for thorough analysis. In December, an unexpected revelation unfolded, 
when the scientists found that the rover had been traversing the site of an ancient Martian lake with a history of magma flow. Initially presumed to be sedimentary, the terrain turned out to be rock solidified from flowing magma, challenging earlier speculations. The unexpected discovery is anticipated to enhance NASA's comprehension of the geological timeline within the Jezero Crater, offering valuable insights into the region's history. Perseverance's ongoing mission involves further characterization of Mars's geology and past climate, setting the stage for future human exploration of the Red Planet. We have finally come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to like, comment, and share. You can also consider subscribing to the channel if you would like to see more amazing content like this. Thank you for watching.